I'm just going to read you something of a redeeming paragraph from Peter Frankopan. Chapter 5, I think, The Road to Concord. In spite, or perhaps because of, the relentless jostling for position and authority at the center of the Muslim world, the peripheries continued to see astonishing expansion. Commanders who were happier in the field than fighting political and theological battles led armies ever deeper into Central Asia, the Caucasus, and North Africa. In the case of the latter, the advance seemed relentless. After crossing the Straits of Gibraltar, the armies flooded through Spain and into France, where they met resistance in 732, somewhere between Poitiers and Tours, barely 200 miles from Paris. In a battle that subsequently acquired a near mythical status as the moment the Islamic surge was halted, Charles Martel led a force that inflicted a crucial defeat. The fate of Christian Europe hung by a thread, later historians argued, and had it not been for the heroism and skill of the defenders, the continent would surely have become Muslim. The truth is that while the defeat was certainly a setback, it did not mean that new attacks would not be unleashed in the future. If that is, there were prizes worth winning. And as far as Western Europe was concerned in this period, these prizes were few and far between. Wealth and rewards lay elsewhere. Just really a, a succinct description of information that's uh, pretty common, I think, but it's, it is beginning to give it, I think, the tilt towards the east that uh, the uh, book promises. So with hopes for the future, I will keep on with Mr. Frankopan.